What's up Rebels, it is Chunky Monkey 40 here with the Parachute in-depth review and breakdown video here on the channel today. So be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. I've been listening to these songs for a week now. Um, I should clarify right now that when you see me in the green shirt, this is not a reaction. But when you see me in the chicken bucket or when you see me, you know, just uh, in the past, you know, you know, in like another outfit, that isn't my life's good when you got a big banana. Sure. That is me hearing the album for the first time. So any reaction you see, that's me hearing it for the first time. I recorded that about, um, actually the day the album came out was when I recorded that. But then right now I'm recording this October 2nd. I'm recording this part because I wanted to sit on these songs, get to listen to them for a while, and get to really understand them. Just like what I do with Creaker 2. And if you want to go watch my Creaker 2 breakdown video, then I'll leave a link to it at the top of the description and also down in the comments section for you guys as well. Um, I did not film a reaction for this first song which is Fallen featuring Mama Church. I had already heard this song when he had dropped it uh, way back on YouTube for the first time so there was really no point in me reacting to it you know but Fallen was definitely a great choice to put at the very top of the album. It's really great to see a song that I could relate to personally with my own mom. This song sort of puts into words the trust that my mom and I have between each other and how no matter what, we're always there for each other. We've both picked each other up from rock bottom several times and, you know, my mom just helped me through everything from breakups, losses, stress, and I mean, I've tried to do the same for her. You know, we're, we're very close like that. We talk a lot. So shout out to my mom because I know she's watching right now. Love you. And by the way, Ma as for Mama Church, I just want to say that you have a phenomenal voice and I'm so happy that you finally have put that out there. And then track two is the title track to this album, Parachute. Up Church just dropped a new album. It's been out for a day, but here, let's see where it's at on the charts. I haven't looked at the charts at all. Let's see where it's at. By the way, I am wearing my chicken bucket. This was given to me by the Trashy Horse Club at the Kid Rock concert I went to. Uh, right now, I'm going to be recording my initial reactions to the song. Um, I've only heard two songs off of this, only because they were leaked a while ago, such as Fallen with Mama Church and then No One Told Us. Those are the only two songs that I'm not going to react to in this video, but the rest of them I have not heard. I have no idea what they are. All I know is that No One Told Us, he talks about a song called Holler Boys, and on this album, there's a song called Holler Boys. And also don't forget to go and check out the Stay Rebel Can Coolers. These are available on, on uh, eBay, not Etsy anymore. Etsy actually banned me because of the Confederate flag. So, fuck them. Yeah, here it is. It's sitting number one on the iTunes charts right now. Let's see if we can focus this. It's number one in all genres right now, guys. So that's really, really awesome. Congratulations, Upchurch. And uh, if Upchurch, if you're watching, thanks for the support, brother. Stay Rebel. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to be listening to it like this because, uh, you know what? I will take the chicken hat off and show my Kid Rock hat. Yeah, because if you guys, are, you guys already know this probably because you follow me, but I'm a huge Kid Rock fan. But I got my Kid Rock hat. <laughs> that was good. Texting the girl, I'm taking a homecoming. <laughs> and I got a good picture too. I don't even know if it's focusing. I don't know. But yeah, she was like, we should film a video sometime. And I was like, yeah, I'm filming one right now. She's like, oh shit. All right. But let's get right into Parachute. Oh, not even plugged in yet. Durr. <laughs> Can't spell it there without the durr. Lonely is the only top pair. Shoot me, I'm coming back down. God dang, everybody coming at my throat now. I'm about to sell all my real estate. Who need a $3 million house? Who need a whole damn car? It goes back to 1948. I'm going to buy a trailer park and put art hard flags in every single window pane. <laughs> like, hey, 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 my life is like Earnhardt. a zombie. Parachute is pure evidence of how humble Ryan Upchurch really is. He basically says, hey, I don't need all this stuff. I don't need all these nice cars. I don't need a Lamborghini. I don't need Ghost Ranch. I don't need any of this. If I lost it tomorrow and if I sold it tomorrow, it wouldn't matter. All this is is just stuff. You know, he doesn't need that to survive. He just wants it because he's actually able to have it. It's not like it's a necessity and he knows that. <laughs> interpreted this as Upchurch finally realizing that the parachute 
after he pulled the strings in 2015, his parachute is finally open. Um, if you guys have ever seen that Steve Harvey just jump motivational speech that he does, um, if not, I highly recommend it. You gotta watch it, seriously. It's fantastic. The dude is so inspiring. But Steve Harvey does this, uh, he did this speech where he basically, he says that you need to just jump. You need to jump for your dreams and then you, you're gonna have a parachute and you need to just, you need to make the jump and you need to pull the string. And when you pull the string, the parachute isn't quite going to open right away. But it's going to open, and it's a promise of God that that parachute will open sometime. And when it does, everything you've ever dreamed for and everything you've ever hoped for has opened up to you, and you're now able to have it. And Upchurch is now realizing, basically, that the parachute has opened up. Past three years I've been climbing, still not tired. Man, I can see the top. This is all country rap is party. supposed yes, to sound. I'm from a distance, only here to watch. I'm a dark magician to the mental blocks. Everywhere is my mental spot. Xfinity with it. My thought process got its own motherfucking routing box. I'm bulletproof to y'all cyberspace. Not codependent on a record label. I beat the game, they ain't no idea. Check these missed call from these millionaires. Atlantic probably looking like they found Atlantis. Hands <laughs> dead like a human praying man. It's Fortnite, your whole hilltop. Take the fucking glider back to my golden. I'm loving the beat, dude. Seriously, this is awesome. Can't wait to bump this in my car. <laughs> Gonna need to put the CDs on Redneck Nation soon, bro. He is still himself. He's still the same guy he was when he first started doing the stuff. He still is uncensored. He still will openly rep the Confederate flag, which is super rare nowadays. For any artist, for any artist to even think about carrying a Confederate flag with them up on stage. And Upchurch still just, he doesn't even care. He's like, yeah, this is Ryan, this is me. If you don't like me, then kiss my ass. And I just think that that's awesome that Ryan is still himself, just with a lot more toys like a freaking Lamborghini and a camo-wrapped Range Rover and a General Church. The top is no place Ooh. for me, oh. I seen it through a scope and they don't know. Yeah, the bottom's where the party's at We're rock and roll up super fat Get baked in random parking lots Like, hey, 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 drink I ain't even handle lots. that That's that song right there, dude. How is that not a hit right there? My God, man, dude, that was a good song. I honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I was a like a little skeptical about this just because I like I felt like it was gonna be more of a country album. But you know, me, I'm a I'm a huge Up Church fan. Don't get me wrong. I, I know the dude. Every single song he's put out, you know, even like you look at it, you see the name, and you're like, ah, it's gonna, you know, you, you know how you are. You judge, you see a name of a song, you judge it, you're just like, ah, it's gonna be a dumb song. But then it ends up like your favorite song, or like you hear the first five seconds of it, and you're just like, oh no, Up Church, like you know, he's never done that for me. He's never like, I, there's never really been. Well, I guess Johnny Cash was one song that I didn't really care for. I'm being on, if I'm being honest. But Up Church, every single song that he's done has been just amazing to me. I've loved it. You know, he does, he hasn't done a bad song yet or even a bad album. I feel like I'm out of focus. Church, as I, I said on my Snapchat story today, Church is an amazing artist and he, you know, I'm going to take this chicken bucket hat off. <laughs> I didn't realize I put that back on. <laughs> phenomenal artist. He's a phenomenal singer. It's just everything that he's put out has never has not disappointed, you know. Like, pot, like I remember when he first started doing rock music in 2018 last year, and I was like, "This is awesome!" Like, how did he not do this first? And then I found uh, the album, the EP he did, "Summer Love." I found that, and I was like, "Man!" Now we're getting into the first full-out country song on this record, and this is called "One of Them Buddies." I mean, I, I love how it's kind of church just sarcastically saying to the people that have moved on and have like left him in the past that he's basically saying, hey, y'all, I'm still here and I ain't going nowhere. I'm still doing the same stuff we did. And there you are. You just left. You know, you you changed your route and I stayed on the same one I was. You know, he's like, yeah, you guys not, you guys are doing your, you know, it's cool that you guys are doing your thing. But like you kind of just sort of left me, you know, here and I stayed and I'm happy. Let's put this out somehow. <laughs> It's kind of reminds 
He's still cruising Cheatham County, being himself. While meanwhile, some of his buddies have moved on from hanging out with him, and have you know they've done they're now doing their own things, such as like uh, I think he says in the song something along the lines of uh, "I couldn't believe what I seen. All my buddies grew up and had babies and a wife, but one of them buddies ain't me. I'm still riding around this town, still blaring the same old songs, still trying to find a spot where the cops don't park so I can get my Willie Nelson on." Yeah, he's just still being himself. He's still doing the same stuff that they used to do, only he's just doing it on his own and with his with his new crowd that he rides with. That's what another thing I do like about Church. He sticks to his roots. He has not changed one bit since the first day he started doing this stuff. That's one thing I really respect about him and idolize about him. That was a good song. All right, next song, West Side. From the West Side Ooh. Where the cowboys roam the night the Monte Carlos rumble by under these faded old straight lights. Oh, oh, on the west side, where rules don't apply for a man on a mission. Side. Either you live or you die. This is my struggle, this choice. is my story, this right. is my life. Whoa, welcome this to my west side. Right now. So I can breathe underwater. My father was a martyr on the cross. That's struggle, Johnny. Daughters, hey, karma's got a price, and I collected that. Yeah, that's struggle, Johnny. Clear as burnt rubber, empty shells on the pavement. I, it was a bit of a, it was a bit confusing to me because. You know, I, I never really pictured Upchurch as being someone to really be interested in the West Side. Now, granted, I know it's not, you know, all liberal. You know, I know it's it's just stereotypically all liberals. But it's not. It's not like that. But I think when writing it, Ryan didn't have something in specific in mind. Other than its experience relocating from the Dirty South to the West Side and how it sort of affected him. But other than that, I feel like just a lot of it was mostly written from a bunch of different stories that came to mind from this time period of maybe when he lived on the West Side. I don't know if he actually do, did live on the West Side. That'd be something kind of cool, you know, for him to break down in a behind the lyrics if he actually did live on the West Side. Or if it's just sort of, you know, him and Struggle Jennings writing something Thing about maybe a character who did live on the west side and sort of how that would be going from the south to the west side but shit them vocals bro those are on point and having struggled jennings on the track too that's just some extra style points right there this track hands down one of my favorites on the record and things had no chains like a broken ass mongoose play t-ball at charlotte park with two tin hillwood class and I hung out with some crazies down on California <laughs> I met him through my cousin Timmy the summer that I stayed out west Riding around in that single cab with the definition of real album Who hotter than me? Yeah, that shit puts me into that vibe Makes me wanna pull out that 90s model Rosa tread off of them ties And every time I'm that that show, I think about that time We swapped seats on I-40 doing 105 <laughs> From the west side Man, I'm loving the country, but dude, 10 out of 10 already. We're on track four, already 10 out of 10. That, that uh, spot where he says live free or die, that reminds me of the live free or die uh, Breaking Bad license play. Because I've been watching a lot of Breaking Bad lately because the movie's coming out. Welcome to my west side. He has not disappointed at all in this album. Amazing. I gotta grab a hat though. <laughs> Let's grab uh I should have probably wore this at the beginning. <laughs> but I wanna wear my new hat though. Alright, GC. <laughs> that's that that song was awesome right there. Next is the song we've all been waiting for, Holler Boys. I hear it's really, really good. I gotta hear it. Wonder if it's a country, more of a country like song or a rap, but country rap, a little bit of a mix. The only poison I've had is Ivy. The only man I fear is God. 
No snakes can make me run now Cause I've been bit by a mob No bug can stare me down No neighbor can shut me up I'm off the grid and I'm off my rocker I'm off in the holler so Song is like uh like vibes on uh on Son of the South. It kind of reminds me of that. Was taken up for somebody else. The only time I got I like that. my jaw jacked is never but damn sure not quite yet. <laughs> then we got what I believe is gonna be the favorite song that the the big hit to come off of this album. Track five, Holler Boys. Track 5 is 100% proof that Upchurch took all Kid Rock's advice to heart. For those of you guys who don't know the advice that Kid Rock gave Upchurch, here I'll play the clip right now from Roast in Review. And I thought with the country music, I want to set on the country music because if I can write this song and listen to it for two years and it never get old to me, then I'm it's going to be a timeless song when I present it to my people. Yeah. And I don't, it don't nice. need to be some podunk shit. Right. You know? And there's some things that other artists have told me that uh, I've looked up to my whole entire life that just struck a chord with me. You know, yeah. uh, when I went to go fucking kick it with Kid Rock for the first time and he invited me to his house uh, alone, it was just me and him. And we just had a great day with each other. And I walked <laughs> around, I asked a million fucking questions, got to see a bunch of cool shit like <laughs> him and Bill Clinton fucking posted up in pictures. Hey, that's shit. loud. That's cool. It was so cool. But he, there's one thing he said when we were at dinner. He said, and it was crazy, bro. We pull up to this fucking restaurant in this black suburban, and he just gets out and fucking you know, walks in with that. I'm a cowboy. Like, <laughs> yeah. Fucking, you know, get the walk going, and they just open the door and let him in. He's already got his seat and shit, and he's like, "Man, you know what you need to focus on, church." I was like, "What?" He's like, "Timeless." He's like, "You already write badass shit." He's like, "Now you need to shoot for timeless." Wow. And I was like, you know what? You're right, bro. And that's I've been thinking that ever since, and. <laughs> It created this country album and two other albums that I have not spoke of, and they're fucking amazing. I never say my shit's amazing, but I love this shit so much because <laughs> I put so much heart and soul into it that I know it's gonna be a tearjerker, and it's gonna be it's gonna be my biggest. These three albums that are about to come out will be my biggest albums ever. Holler Boys is gonna be the new boys around here, except for like freaking twenty times better. It's a true country boy anthem written by a true country boy. This song is timeless. Everything getting played on the radio right now does not stand a chance next to this song. I love the mellowing vibe it gives, and I just can't wait for the videos to come out from the tour that he's going to be going on next year, where everybody in the crowd is singing this song in unison with Ryan. I just, I feel like that's going to be so amazing, because there's one video in particular, I don't know if I'll be able to find it to include a clip of it, but Up Church is singing Stuck on 17. And actually, in the video, from what I can remember, you can actually hear the crowd better than you can hear Upchurch. But the whole crowd is singing in unison with Ryan. And I just I feel like that would be just amazing to be there in person to actually witness. This is gonna be that one song where everybody at the concert, when the like, you know, they, they get their phones out and they turn the lights on, or they get their lighters and light them up and hold them up in the up in the air, and everybody sways them side to side. That's what this song is gonna be right here. The times I miss the most are the times nobody knows. When That's true. It's me, my cousin, and a couple of my buddies racing down old Sam's Creek Road. <laughs> we them Those vocals, 20 out of 10. Man. Native to the holler soul 
washed in the spring. Dang. Oh, that right there. How the music slowly kicks back in. Oh, man. If you need a chip on a shoulder or a hand with a loaded gun, stretch it out. Yep. Uh, man, I can't. I can see why people are like loving this song. This song is amazing. This song would be so awesome. This is like one of those songs that you listen to like 4 a.m. sitting outside looking at the stars, just chilling. That was a great song. That's that's definitely gonna be a that's gonna be a greatest hit this year. That, that that's gotta how like that's gotta manage to get its way on the radio somehow. Like I, I know they don't play church on the radio because you know I don't even know why actually. It's stupid. Uh, just his record labels are greedy and don't like him because he's way better than anything they could ever produce. That's 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 an anthem right there. That is amazing. That's that's gonna be my favorite song. That's uh, for this whole album. I can already tell. I don't know because no one told us is already right there. But uh, same with Parachute. Actually, I would say this is Holler Boys, Parachute. No one told us Fallen, and then one of them buddies, and then West Side. That's that's my order right now. If there is a way to describe how to mix country rock with rap music, it would be this song with. Pure perfection. Upchurch manages to tease the mainstream music industry with lyrics like Yeah, I'm sick of hearing the same thing. Rhinestone cowboy. I'm about to smack y'all like the ass on a cowgirl. And even Yeah, the music industry think it got me itching like Sumac. Got a bunch of tins in Tennessee like dancing to this rap. In the end of this track, he also predicts the timelessness of holler boys which i just think is just amazing it's just so cocky like i love the cocky attitude he has in this one day when i'm dead and gone you'll smirk along and sing and you'll sing man oh man where the good times go back when it was holler boys by the church on the radio and i've said this in the past and i'm saying it again and I know I talk about him a lot in my videos, but and even up and up church has even said it in his songs. They say I sound like Kid Rock if he was born in the South, which is 100% accurate. He's the Southern boy version of Kid Rock. Church can somehow manage to put three genres, rock, country, and rap, all on the same album, and it works. And it goes number one on the iTunes charts. You could put any type of music in front of Ryan Upchurch. Blues music, pop music. He could probably even make the coolest K-pop song in the world. And I hate K-pop. Yeah, you put any you put any genre in front of Upchurch and he'll make eight albums in it and manage to get them all to chart number one on Billboard. And if that doesn't describe a true characteristic of a legend, I don't know what does. Now, the only song that I'm kind of torn on, I'm not really the biggest fan of this one, but... Dance with the Devil is a great trio between Katie Noel, Chucky V, and Ryan Upchurch. I think that th their voices work great together. I'm just not a big fan of the song, you know. But I do like the I do like the message in this song though, and the way I interpreted it personally was basically them saying to the record labels, "Hey, you didn't make me. You can't have nothing of mine." And I did everything you said I couldn't do. I did everything that you told your people that it could never be done. I'm doing it right now, and it's working out pretty damn good. I just I love the cockiness in this song, but personally, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Sorry. I, I gotta be honest in these videos, otherwise then you guys just ain't gonna believe me that I'm actually breaking down the album and reviewing it. You know, like I'm a huge Upchurch fan, but I'm just not the biggest fan of this song. So this one goes right next to Johnny Cash. I'm not really the biggest fan of that song either. It's just so repetitive. But anyways, anyways, now we got Some Days and Church comes in with some awesome rhymes that give me like a High Diaz vibe. I actually feel like this song almost was on High Diaz. Just because of the, the, the sound and the beat, it just sort of reminds me of the High Diaz series that he's doing. Yeah, that's right. If you guys aren't really that big of Upchurch fans, I am saying hi, Diaz. 
basically a high idea is where you just get stoned and then you write out your high idea. I think I got a high idea. <laughs> this song feels like church is addressing those days where you just don't want to get out of bed. You just want to lay in bed, smoke a doobie, watch some SpongeBob and drink some apple juice. Those days where you have no motivation to do anything other than to just lay in bed, watching TV, -da 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 -da, and just reminisce on the good times that you've already had and just sort of look back on, uh, on just your accomplishments in life and how far you've come. <laughs> and then track eight, as if you needed more proof that Upchurch is the king of country rap, we got Huckleberry. The first time I heard this song, which I didn't realize that this was the already, you know, I didn't realize when I saw it on the track list, I didn't realize that this song has already been released. Don't get me wrong, this is in my, this song is in my daily playlist on YouTube. I just, I, when I saw the track list, I didn't realize that this was that Huckleberry song. I thought it was another one, or I just didn't put two and two together, you know? But the first time I heard it, lyrics such as, dirt in my nails and it's nails in my dirt, run barefoot behind me and your feet go hurt. And raising hell like a Feel stupid. Just kill me the first time I heard this song. I mean, I, I seriously did not think that this would ever be released on an album. I just thought it was another bored freestyle that he did because that's what it has. It really has that like freestyle vibe to it. I love that. You know, it's so it's so amazing. But my favorite line in this song has to be uh, Peter Piper picked a Chevy. Now his truck is full of bad bitches. I just love the way he's. <laughs> I'm not even a Chevy fan, but that makes me want to buy a Chevy right there just because it's so funny. <laughs> I can just I can just see him writing this lyric just like laughing while he's super, super high drinking chocolate milk and just laughing, laughing and laughing. Yeah, this song, you know, this has been on my playlist for months. So I think that's enough said about what I feel about this song. Last but certainly not least, we have what I feel is the greatest Ryan Upchurch song that has ever been made so far. Wake Me Up. This song was, the, it hit home with me. Just like Empty Graves on, uh, on Supernatural, this song really hit home. Number 10 is called Wake Me Up. I'm living in a dream now. I just I fell in love with this song you could watch it in my facial reactions this song wake me up is just so deep it's like there's there's no other words to describe it and I didn't have any other words at the time other than just wow wake me up is basically Ryan talking about his rise to fame his ability to be successful with music and him basically asking his life if like, is this a dream or is this real? I'm living in slow motion. I ain't action ten yet. I'm drunk off the success I steer. How you think I drove here? Black marks on the road are no for any reason besides the fact I walked them before the tattoos and blights. Blueprints on the road will be blueprints for the next year. For every yard is struggling, trying to push yourself through new years. So take it easy. Which, Ryan, yes, this is real, and you are a, a true legend in the making. And yes, you are an inspiration to myself and many others just like me and you. The positive vibes that you give off in this song, just, they give me chills every time I hear it. And my favorite, my favorite lyric in it is when you say, so take it easy, easy, live it, love it, don't give up, the battle scars are cool when you make it to the top, son. So take it easy. I just I love that and that one day just that's got to be on a t-shirt or something that that lyric is just so amazing just it's so deep you know just and the way you say it too is just amazing it's so just beautiful to say the least and it just gives me chills that's that's all I could really say about it Smoking blue dream in my dream house oh yeah me to the stars this course perfect Goals, for sure. This album is so inspiring. I love it. This is awesome.
guitar fits perfect right there. A mixture of country, rap, and rock. All we have is just a typical Upchurch album. Only this one, Parachute, is probably is hands down probably Ryan's best work yet. And I, I, I and I truly mean that. This album contains some of the most timeless songs, and, and I seriously have never had so much favorite songs off of one album until this one. But on this one, Fallen, West Side, Holler Boys, No One Told Us, Wake Me Up. All of these songs are just so fantastic. Like, just half the damn album is in my daily playlist. This album was just fantastic, and it's definitely gonna live on for Creek Squad generations to come. Especially track five, Holler Boys. That song is the new Country Boy anthem. I don't care what anybody says. It's timeless, and it's, it's just, it's so real, and so raw. And just it's so positive too it's it's that song that really gives you hope for music and like you just if you listen to it in the morning that and wake me up you listen to those two songs in the morning and it's, it's just gonna make your day great trust me it's worked for me the past week as for a rating though I gave this album a nine and a half out of ten and I rated it like that for one reason and that's just because like I said I wasn't the biggest fan of dance with the devil maybe it maybe it'll grow on me but I feel like up Church and Katie Noel can do much better. Like Queen of the South, for example. That song's in my daily playlist. I listen to it all the time. But, but like I said, though, I do love the message that that song gives off about how basically they made themselves and they're not dancing around with the devils in Nashville. But other than that one track that I'm just sort of iffy about, like I love the lyrics in it. I just, I don't really care for, I, I don't really know exactly. Like I guess I just don't really like the vocals in it. It's just not really my kind of vibe. But other than that, this album was absolute perfection and it excites me for what's to come in the future. And hopefully that is another album like River Rat on Christmas. That would be amazing right there. And I saw today he posted this video. Here, I'm gonna play it for you guys really quick. Let's go on my phone. I was so happy when he did this because I've always wanted to see him do another song like this. He captioned it, this is me making different exhaust noises with my Mustang to add in songs. <laughs> and that's basically what he did with YZ. So if he's already got an idea of what to do with a Mustang, I'm just so excited for it. This is gonna be sick, you know? YZ is the jam. But anyways, I gotta stop talking. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also let me know down in the comment section what your opinion on Parachute was. What do you think of my rating of nine and a half out of 10? What's your favorite song and what's your least favorite song on the album? Uh, do you agree with me on my opinions or do you disagree with me on some of them? Let me know everything down below in the comment section. And with all that said and out of the way, I am ChunkyMonkey40 on YouTube.com. Be sure to go and check out my Creek or Two breakdown video. It'll be linked at the top of the description and it'll also be linked in the end screen and it'll also be linked down below in the pinned comments. I'm out. Stay rebel. These are also still available in case you didn't know that. All right, peace.